Previously on Feral Mode. We are playing the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Tool Psycho Battle Royale demo. Just came out in Japan uh, today, actually. Uh, the official full game doesn't come out until, I want to say, August 12th. But um, I wanted to kind of give everybody a preview of Rush Tool. Let's start. So this is the wonderful city of Goha. And we are Pharaoh, or unoriginal name, right? And it is our first day here as a transfer student at the Goha 7th Elementary School. And so, I guess we got a cute little symbol there. We're gonna meet all of our new friends here, yeah. starting with Yuga Odo, who is the protagonist of the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 series. And then is, I don't wanna say it's like a pet, but his robot friend, Kaizo. And then beyond Kaizo, should be some other members of the team here. Don't fly off, Kaizo. All right, we have Luke, who imagines himself to be the king of duels and a rush duelist extraordinaire, even though Yuga invented it. We have Gakto. Gakto is the student president. And then finally, we should have Romy. Yeah, Romy Chan. But yeah, so what Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s is about, for those of you who probably haven't seen the series like I have, it's about a new type of Yu-Gi-Oh! that's been invented called Rush Duels. Uh, Yuga hacks his duel disc, and uh, that basically gives him the ability to add some new rules, basically make like a Rush Duel. It's basically speed duels, but the rules are a little bit different. We're gonna get to our first <laughs> Rush Duel in just a moment here. And like, the graphics on this game are beautiful. This might be like the prettiest Yu-Gi-Oh! game they have ever made. Um, but yeah, we can actually explore the school, talk with everybody. There's Yuga, there's Paizo. Going to, I guess we could intervene in this rush duel, but I don't think it lets us do that like in Yu-Gi-Oh! R5. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're, we're fixed now. Again, I'm excited too for something completely new. And it is Yu-Gi-Oh! And it is speed duel themed, but it's really important for your Yu-Gi-Oh! education. Do you know what a rush tool is? So rush tool is a format that's only available currently in Japan right now, but there are sort of hints that it's gonna come to the West. Uh, this game's on Nintendo Switch, by the way, so we are playing along. But it is unlimited normal summons. So I think maybe for some of you guys who are visual learners, right, uh, it might be easier for you to see a rush tool. Hi. So we are gonna battle uh, Rango. Oh no, excuse me, that's Ranze, Ranze. Uh, the student council vice chair. <laughs> and through that, we're gonna learn rush tools together. There we go. But you have to take what you think about Yu-Gi-Oh! and set it aside. A lot of people like want slower Yu-Gi-Oh! They always talk about it. Even though this game technically moves faster, it basically equates to slower Yu-Gi-Oh! So there's, there's me, Pharaoh. It's pretty easy to spell my name, right? Yes, but those monsters are not powerful monsters with amazing and incredible effects. It's a lot more like Duel's Kingdom. All right, so... Uh, what do you think? Rock, paper, scissors? I'm gonna go with scissors. And we're gonna go first. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, no, it, it would be. It would be. So we're gonna start the duel with 3,000 uh, life points because it's a tutorial. However, uh, typically a rush duel is 8,000 life points. And I think they even say that. Yeah, it even says, right, we're not gonna start with 8,000, we're gonna start with 3,000 for now. And so um, it's got all the same faces, right? You probably can't read Japanese, but that's Doro, Main, Batoru, and Endo phase. So just like um, Duel Links, there is no main phase. So we have four cards in our hand right now. All of them are normal monsters. So we are going to draw until we have five cards in our hand, which means we're just gonna draw one card. And so uh, pretty neat opening hands here as far as like wimpy normal monsters go. The first thing we're going to do during our main phase is we're going to summon some monsters, level 4 or lower, just like normal Yu-Gi-Oh! And so the first one we're going to summon is going to be this one. 1100 attack, 3 stars, and we're going to uh, put that in attack mode. Monster, oh, cool. <laughs> Alright, so we got that in attack mode, then we're going to summon Monster, this other one <laughs> in attack mode. And then finally, just to kind of like divvy it up and understand how things work, we're also going to set a monster in defense mode. 1400 defense, zero attack. Uh, now that our field is full, we don't have any tribute summons, uh, we're going to go and end our turn. So move to the end phase. 
So this is touch base, but because the switch is plugged into the docking station, I obviously cannot touch the screen. But this is completely touch based. So you can touch the screen for all of this and it works just like a tablet or a phone. So that's a good news, Blazing, because they thought ahead. All right, so uh, there's no cards we can check, so we're just going to let uh, that's say stuff, stuff. She's got a level three water monster with 1100 attack. She's summoning two copies of it. In fact, she is summoning, nope, she's only got uh, 1500 attack dragon. 1500 for a four star is pretty standard for rush tools. So we're in the battle phase, and they're going to show up all the interactions, some of which you are probably pretty familiar with, right? So we know what happens when a monster with higher attack points attacks a monster with lesser attack points, right? That's going to be 500 damage to me, and I'm going to lose my monster, destroy your soul battle. Um, if two monsters are equal, we know what happens there, too. 1100, 1100, there's no difference in rush tools from that. They're both going to be destroy your soul in battle. And then finally... If a monster attacks a stronger monster in defense mode, you know how what happens next. Our opponent can take some damage, but neither monster will be destroyed. And so they've learned a lot from Duel Links here, right? We're fully voiced over. Uh, this is going to be on Nintendo Switch Aristocrat. Alright, so our turn. We only have two cards in our hand, so we're going to draw until we have five. So we're going to draw three cards, right? And it's just all the same time. No pots of greed here. All right, so we have some pretty decent monsters, uh, especially the tributes. And some of them might seem a little familiar. So it's explaining tribute summoning, right? We know how to tribute summon. So what we're going to do is tribute our defense position monster. Monster, we play DD So we're going to release a monster, send that to the graveyard. And now we have a 2,000 attacker. And so five and six is one tribute. Level seven is two tributes. Now we're going to put uh, two more monsters in the field. Remember that Rush Duels, you have a limited normal summon. So we're going to go summon these two level three monsters. And then we are going to tribute out this very buff version of Axe Raider, right? Uh, tribute that one and that one. So releasing two. Adel Monster Shokan. Advanced Shokan, right? Advanced summon. And so, do we have CG for this? We do, wow. <laughs> That's a lot of huff and puff for a monster with 2400 attack and no effects. But honestly, for Rush Tools, it's pretty good. And then finally, we still have a four star in our hand. So we can go ahead and put this monster out too. Hey, Justice. All right, so now we can go ahead and go to our battle phase and just wreck face, right? So first off, we will attack here. We do 900 damage. Wham. And so next, uh, I think this might be game 17. Yeah, this is game. This game. So 900 damage. I like that it shows how much it's going to do in advance. It like does the calculations in advance. Well, not too much. No, we're probably just going to do uh, rush tools today. Because it takes a little bit to switch out between the games. I don't want to have too much of a disruption. But also, this just came out. So this is my, like, fourth time, or fourth, excuse me, fourth minute playing this game. All right, so we won our very first tutorial rush through. But the demo on this just came out this morning in Japan. All right, so we got some new cards. Uh, looks like a spell and trap removal card. Wow, we got the Ameriforce. Here, man. Uh, no, I don't check the field. 2100 attack, no effects. Not scared of that, then. Uh, let me go to... Deck modification pack, Hyper Speed Road. I don't want to say this is from, like, Shock and Lightning, right? Okay, so... Our turn. Yeah, that's true. It is one of those things, like, until you play it, you're never going to, like, fall in love with it the way you could. Um, wow, that is a hand. Uh, I guess it's not that bad. Let us set... We don't have any spellcasters, so it's kind of unfortunate, but I'm gonna set this to... And... We will summon our, uh, shaman. Yeah, we actually, we got it. Rush tools are here. 
So the mirror force card is live. If we don't, we're kind of in trouble. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and activate the effects. All right, so elemental road. We did get rid of the spellcaster, and it's an earth spellcaster. So that brings our monster's attack up to 3,600. And then, since we have no further actions, we can go ahead and go to the battle phase. 
So there are, it's a, a mechanical maximum summon, but it's not really three tribute so much as you just summon three monsters at the same time. Um, if you don't summon them all at the same time, they still can be used as two tribute monsters, but it's as close as you're going to get to like Exodia or a God card. Uh, but I want to spell the entire maximum art, although I do think the maximum monsters are in uh, the game. So basically, you just like play all three at the same time. Alright, so no response. So releasing again for one tribute, I assume it's gonna be the uh, to be fresh dragon. It's not, okay, it's just a normal five-star 1600 attack monster. But here comes the gravity press. It would, especially if you've like got it. If you have your card hands correct and just drop it all at the same time. Okay, so 1,400 attack points. That's weak, but we do have a trap. And so I believe we have four spellcasters in the graveyard the same. So we are going to activate a card. And so it's not that one. It is that one. Okay, so we're just going to destroy all of his monsters, which seems really mean. But by returning four spellcasters from my graveyard, uh, oh, that is a spellcaster. Okay, so one, two, three. Uh, yeah, I'll put the tribute monster back in too. So one, two, three. It does make our monster weaker, right? Because when we do uh, the elemental road, there's certainly going to be one. I can't believe it destroys all of them. They just seem so wacky. The game does seem to have custom animations for spell and trap cards, which is really cool. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Magic the Gathering Arena game. Alright, so... We can destroy the set spell cards. Alright, so draw. Draw three. Uh, okay, there's some stuff in there. Then what I'm gonna do is start by activating the Typhoon. And then we're going to destroy. It's technically it's. All right, so we got rid of one card. Good deal. Uh, now we're gonna summon Mystic Dealer. And I kind of want to discard the Tribute Monster because we get more damage if we don't Tribute and we just do another normal summon. So we're going to discard the Tribute, draw a card. Anything good? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Then we're going to summon our monster. And so currently on the board, we have um, 4,600. But let's go ahead and activate the skill here. And so we're going to mill one. Fire in the graveyard. So I think that's like, what, three attributes? 900? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we have uh, 5,500, which is not enough to win, but it's still pretty good. So we will go ahead and enter our battle phase next turn. I guess I could have set, but I didn't want to lock myself up. Just in case we draw another trap card. So 3,000. And then go ahead and do 1,500. And then 1,000. So we're close, but not quite. Okay. Uh, well, you're allowed to, so if you decided on otherwise, I'm happy to hear that you're yes. doing something that you like. <laughs> Alright, so I am not going to activate anything. Really neat. Like, I've been waiting for this game for a long time. All right, so this is going to be discard to add a dragon back to your hand. So discarding a card. I assume it's going to get gravity press dragon back, right? No response. 
Alright, she's gonna release one. Gravity press? Oh no, it's not gravity press. Interesting. Okay. So, uh. Destroying a spell or trap because I control a dragon. Not bad. It's cool that both uh, dragons and spellcasters and two major archetypes have their own spell and trap in the world. Alright, so set set. Not too worried here. Okay, so battling. You're gonna do 600 damage to me, no big deal. Yeah, I think we've won this duel just fine. So again, hopefully you guys have gotten a sense for the vibe of Rush Duels. That while you do draw, you know, until you have five cards in your hand every turn, except for this turn, it'll be three cards. And you can normal summon as many times as you want in a single turn. It's not nearly as broken as you think because it's designed not to be. Uh, okay, we've got pretty decent fields here. Let's go ahead and destroy the uh, traps, if any. So we'll start by just targeting the face down that's in the center. Yeah, they actually have custom spell and trap animations. That's really neat. Uh, let's go ahead and then do another one right here. So we are going to destroy that. Oh, it's, it's stream is what it is. It's stream. All right, then uh, we're going to activate this card twice and give our Sevens Road Magician uh, a lot of attack points. Unless there's a once per turn clause. Um, I will get rid of the little one just in case I got a tribute. And select the spellcaster. The spellcaster we're gonna select is Seven Sword Magician. Can I do the other one? Uh yeah, I can. Okay. Not even a once per turn My effect. Cool. So we are going to discard one card. We are going to target our We already won at this point, right? We're just kind of styling. And then the last thing I want to do is activate the skill, right? We're bigger than an Egyptian god at this point. So Elemental Road. I love that it has unique voice lines for the cards too, even though you're like a generic character. So now we are 5,600 attack. I don't think we're going to get any bigger than that. And so battle phase. And uh, let's go ahead and attack and get all the Gohan Monster. Monster. So it's not necessarily like Vanguard. Um, it's still Yu-Gi-Oh, but I see what you mean about Vanguard because in Vanguard you're like call, 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 go, and but you're you're not using damage triggers. You're not using like damage checks. You don't have triggers in general. Um, but but the unlimited normal summons definitely gives it like that Vanguard vibe where you're just like ah, oh, I'm gonna play this and this and this and this and this. And so it breaks it up a little bit from being Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, looks like you got a really cool, I don't know if that's a Rush Rare. I guess it says RR, so yeah, Rush Rare. Uh, Rush Rare are those hollow foils that I showed you before um, that have like a little sort of sparkle bits on them. Um, so neat, okay. Not ready to build our own deck yet, but that's cool. And so um, I'm really looking forward to all the fans of Rush Duel in Japan being able to play. Um, I've watched a lot of Rush Duels on the Remote Duel Discord in Japan which is really neat. Uh, you actually like can play remote duels in Japan whenever you want, because they have just like a 24 hour Discord. And there aren't a lot of Rush Duelists, right? It's still kind of small compared to uh, some of the other types of Yu-Gi-Oh, like Duel Links or the Master Duel. But it's true that we are actually still seeing, you know, this game continue to grow even in Japan. Uh, I was right. Okay, so Twin Edge Dragon, discard a card and tax twice. And then Phoenix Dragon is discard a card and then add a level five or higher Dragon Launcher from your graveyard to your hands. Full Battle Alchemist. Uh, Roy Mustang. Absolutely Roy Mustang. Oh, snap. It's the legendary Duel King. Otherwise known as Otis. Yeah. And so, um, so just so you're not confused, Dragears is not a legend card, and Seven's Road Magician is also not a legend card, which seems wacky, because I think it's good enough to be a legend card. Mm. But there's also, like, a Seven's Road Magician Yadu, right? Like a girl. So, uh, if we're going to become the Duel King, we've got to answer Otis's challenge. I think we're going to see Blue Eyes White Dragon. Okay, so I'm going to play... Um, 
Oh, do I want to play? Yeah, we'll play Luke Stack. And we are probably going to see Blue Eyes White Dragon. But yeah, I mean, I, I think that works really well, Josh, because again, you've heard all the cards that I mentioned. They're all about uh, level five or higher dragons. So we're going to go first and draw and pray. It's so so okay, so we're playing dragons. So I need to remember what these trap cards do real fast. So we're going to go back to the starter deck manual here. Like I'm trying not to drain my brain. Um, dragon encounter and counter offensive dragon strike. So, okay, draw for turn. Uh, we've got counter offensive dragon strike in our hand. When a monster that's a dragon you control is destroyed by battle with an opponent's attacking monster, send one card from your hand to the graveyard and destroy a monster your opponent controls. Oh, so it's like Ninja Zure. Well, that's pretty cool. And then we already know the other spell card destroys a spell or trap, right? I want to say that's Fire Dragon Team Flash. And Fire Dragon Team Flash is... If you control a dragon, destroy a spell or trap. Okay, cool. So, uh, he didn't have any spells or traps. We're going to set this for now. Set the discount Mitch's array. Uh, set the spell and trap destruction. And then we have uh, four star 15. It's pretty good. And then just to really deplete our hand, because as you can tell, the name of the game with Rush Rules is to use it or lose it, right? If I don't play it, I'll draw less cards next turn. So we're going to tribute summon a uh, level 5 dragon with 1600 attack. All right, so advance summon. Because they don't call it tribute summoning in, in Japan. They actually uh, moved away from that pretty early. In uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds, they changed it to release it instead of tributing, and advance summoning instead of tribute summoning. Yeah, I actually, like, I'm really impressed that this is, like, what Duel Links would look on Nintendo Switch, basically. My favorite rival, by the way, in Blazing, um, the friend, but you always think of the rival. I think, like, Jack Atlas has a really good rivalry with Yusei Fudo, but he's kind of mean at the beginning. Uh, Soul Burner is really good from Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, brains, but I know I always put Yu Gi Oh! Brains. I guess Joey's kind of like the classic one, right? So we did lose. Whoa, he's got a Gaia? Is he just playing like a legend deck and he's just able to play a million legend cards? Monster. He just discarded Gaia. I think his deck is like straight up just all the ultra rares from all the boxes. Monster. Is he gonna tribute some of Blue Eyes like right now? No, okay, so he's set to. That's no big deal. But he just he just um, discarded Gaia the first night. So we are gonna draw for turn. So draw five cards, right? I love that it just shows you your hand all at one time. Okay, so we have a lot of traps. And remind me again what Dragon's Encounter does. Um, when your opponent normal summons or special summons a monster, you can special summon one dragon from your hand, uh, which would include not having to tribute. But um I don't feel like we need to do that just yet. Unless we... Oh, we could tribute the tribute monster. No, we... Let me... Okay, let me put out the phoenix. We're not going to use the phoenix's effect. I feel like we drew, like, all of our mirror forces one. By the way, otherwise, the deck construction rules, other than legend, you still can just run three of any card. So... Let me go ahead and set this card. And we're going to set this card. I'm going to get Force so hard. Can I check this graveyard real fast? Yeah, he totally has Gaia. And it doesn't say Legend on it. Okay, that's that's scary. All right, so we're going to go battle. Um, I mean, most, most defense on low-level monsters aren't that big, so... Attack for 15. Got this little weird worm monster. Uh, go ahead and attack. Oh, lesser dragon number two. Okay. And then finally, we can go ahead and attack for 2100. 
ダイレクトアタックまずいな So, speed duels, the default life points are 4,000, but in real TCG duels, including rush duels, 8,000 is the life points. In the anime, they still play with 4,000 life points, but 4,000 is typically like an anime number. Again, rush duels, you play faster in terms of drawing all those cards and playing all those monsters, but the tempo of the duels actually more akin to like early Yu-Gi-Oh, where people get a chance, right? That's the thing, most people have like, been begging for Yu-Gi-Oh to slow down or be accessible to more people and oh, this game no. absolutely does that but I don't think people really realize that until it's more readily accessible to more players Monster right, so he is going to trigger summon uh no response other than he's in trouble if he tries to attack one of our monsters right oh no okay so he is... No, I don't have any response. So discard a card. Discard two cards. And it flips my monster face down. That seems really expensive. Everything in, in Rush Duels is super expensive because the idea is you're always drawing cards. So it's really about discarding cards. You know, like that's your resource is more than life points or banishing stuff in your graveyard, etc. Oh, I missed the opportunity to activate the trap. My bad. That's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out then. If you Maybe I can draw a good uh, tribute monster that. like Trigears. So we're going to draw four cards. Um, we did step... Well, I guess we could um, summon a little monster with Baby Dragon. Not to be confused with Baby Dragon. And then tribute over it. Yes. We're going to make do here. All right, cool. So we got our bigger dragon out. So we're going to go to the battle phase. Battle phase. And we're going to crash into each other. Wham. So both players lost their monster. And then attack. And then, notice, by the way, the trap only works when your opponent attacks you, not when you attack your opponent. So, rush duels are really meant to be, like, not cheap, well, but just the power is, is crept way down compared to modern Yu-Gi-Oh. So, we are going to end our turn. All right, so we're not doing too bad. Now, Otis is going to draw five cards, so I'm waiting for him to pull out Blue-Eyes White Dragon. Because, like, that's his ace. All right, so he's thinking. He's just going to set a monster. Really? No Blue-Eyes? So I really wanted to see legendary parts like Blue Eyes White Dragon. We all do, right? Tribute to? Nope, set, set, set. Setting another card, okay. Alright, so it's my turn. You don't want to see he wants to speak of his partner, though, by the way. Omae ni Nakama Niyaru, or Niyaru. I don't know if he said Niyaru or not. Uh, okay, so, we got a spell card that we cannot play this turn, but we can use the effect of Phoenix. So, if you forgot what Phoenix does, I get to discard a monster to add a level 5 or higher dragon from the graveyard to my hand, which makes it actually, like, a really good addition if you are playing Blue Eyes, like you mentioned. I do have it, Yubel. Uh, we are gonna discard, I mean, honestly, the trap card, right? We don't need that right now. And then we are going to add to our hand, uh, one of our... So here's one thing you guys probably don't know about Rush Tools. Oh, yeah, I'm not great at Spanish either. No hablamos español. I guess no habla español. Para mi amigos hablamos muy bien español. Uh, okay, so we're going to attribute the same monster. So, monsters in Rush Rules are all once per turn. That's like a rule in the Rush Rule rulebook, if I remember correctly. That it doesn't have to say, once per turn, you can do this, and you can only do it once per turn. It's literally every monster is once per turn. 
一気にモンスターで来い、right, so Destroy the result of battle. No problem. Same deal over here. So, without a card effect to be able to, you know, let us pierce through his defenses and do more damage. Oh, hey, it's the lesser hill. One of the really neat things on all these cards, by the way, they're like ported over, is they have their own rush tool art. So, if I pull up this graveyard and you look at Guy of the Fierce Knight here, um, You can see that, like, that is not the original art of Guy of the Fierce Knight, but that's the same of, like, Lesser Dragon, brand new art, um, Feral Imp, brand new art, so they do a really, is it named really Gremlin? Is that really what I just read? It is. Gremirin. 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 Name is really Gremlin. There's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that their name is in English, and they like change it when it comes over to America. And they didn't just name it Gremlin. All right, so he's gonna draw four cards. He could get that blue eyes out any second, but I've got a trap card with the same on it. It's it's really neat. I'm really impressed. Okay. So he's setting a card. Monster set. Okay, monster set. Monster it's coming. This has got to be it. This has got to be it. Yes! Definitely is it. Oh, it's Gaia? Okay. That's still cool. I would kill for that animation in Duel Links. I really would, because Gaia is so cool. Uh, no response. Mahokado Hatsudo. Oh, he's gonna destroy one of our spells and traps by discarding a card. Um, I don't have anything to respond. Yeah, okay. So he's discarding, and we lost uh, one of our spell and trap removal. So oh, I forgot we said that. We totally could have used that to destroy a spell and trap. So this is fine. We did lose our dragon. But this time we're gonna remember to activate our trap card. It is not over yet. So we're gonna activate a card and. Aha! Got it, counter offensive, right? Counter offensive, okay. And then we do have to discard a card, so we'll discard uh, this one. Which is cool because actually that means we get to draw more cards next turn. I have, I have. The Dian Keto set, yeah. The Bubble Era Dian Keto. Alright, so. Draw. Okay, so actually a pretty decent hand. Um, I want to say. Let me remember what that spell card does before I play it. Uh, normal spell, Trigonic Pressure. Send three dragon monsters from your hand to the graveyard. Destroy all monsters on the field. If a monster is destroyed by this effect, you can special summon a level four or lower dragon from your graveyard to your field and face up defense. Oh, that's really like we spellcasters get a bear force, but you dragon players get a Raigeki. Whoa, is he taunting us because we're not playing? <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, um, focus, focus, focus. Summon. We're not going to destroy our own stuff. We are going to tribute some of them. And so, put this out. What is this dragon's name? It is Fire Guardian, right? Fire Guardian, yeah. Okay. And so, its name is Fire Guardian. Wow, it's just, there's so many of the card names are just straight up in English. All right, so, uh, we'll go to battle phase and Barring like any ridiculous spell or trap cards, I want to say this is game. So we are gonna win. ガラキだよ。さあ、ガラ。So we won. Change the user. You'll see there's like, there's a really close up face. This account is a separate account created on the Nintendo Switch webpage that is, has its country set to Japanese. 
And I don't think it would close the thing. So yeah, I, I click here. And so once you have this separate account, you don't even have to be on your main account. This is so each of you who have a Nintendo Switch can go in and do rush tools. And so um, you would scroll down to, I want to say it's down here where it says Mosugu. I'm not asking you to remember how it's said in Japanese, but these are upcoming releases and you'll know they're upcoming releases because there's a little calendar update here, right? You see that 2021, July 15th, etc. So you scroll down, this game releases on August 12th. So you want to scroll down to where it says August 12th. Uh, we're in July, we're in July. We're in late July. A lot of cool releases. There you go. And so here is Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Tools. You click that. And there's two components here. This top one is buy it. And this is download the demo. I mean, you can literally, you if you could read Japanese, you'll see that it says, um, I can't read the kanji part, but I do see that it says download. So you want to click download. And then once you click download, you can actually just exit back out to the main menu. And then there it'll be. And you just start playing from there. And, uh, yeah, no, this was really, really cool. And so, yeah. That is Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Tools in a nutshell. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, again, this is freely available on the Nintendo Switch store, so all you have to do, again, is have a Japanese Nintendo Switch account, which you can make off of the American uh, Nintendo Switch website, log into it, download the demo by navigating through the new releases, and then switch over back to your normal account and play it from there. All of this we did on a US-based Switch, and uh, it's been a lot of fun, for sure. The actual official game doesn't come out until August 12th, so I am hoping that uh, once it's fully available, we can go ahead and upgrade, right? Put in, I think it's 6,600 yen. And uh, yeah, they'll work this into rotation. Of course, we're still primarily a Duel Link stream, so I don't want you guys to get like spooked or scared or anything. But we're all kinds of Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Like all this Yu-Gi-Oh in the background isn't just for show, it's because we love it, including all of these Rush Duel characters, right? Now you know them by name, Gaktul, Yuga, Luke, and Romy. So again, hopefully you had a great time, and as always, fam, thank you for watching.